President Biden will update the nation today on the Omicron variant and the U.S. response. Health experts are scrambling to learn more about the highly transmissible variant. It's already been detected in more than a dozen countries. ABC's M. Nguyen has more now from Washington. This morning, growing concern over a new variant of COVID-19 that emerged in Southern Africa. The World Health Organization is calling Omicron a variant of concern as more nations report new cases, including Canada, where health officials say they've confirmed their first two cases. Scientists are scrambling to find out more about its severity, saying Omicron could be more transmissible than the Delta variant and that the vaccines could be less effective, but stress it's too early to know for sure. It does appear, again, very preliminary evidence that it is more transmissible. We don't know for sure. We really have no data on severity, whether it's as severe, light, milder, or more significant. President Biden is expected to deliver remarks about the new strain later today after he met with his COVID-19 response team over the weekend. Also starting today, the U.S. is issuing new travel restrictions banning most non-American citizens from flying into the country from South Africa and its neighboring nations. I just made it. Otherwise, I would, tomorrow I wouldn't have made it. This as COVID-19 hospitalizations rise for the third straight week. New York preemptively declaring a state of emergency to boost hospital staffing. The surge feels worse than ever before and the patients are sicker. Pfizer and Moderna are working now to adapt their vaccines to fight Omicron if necessary, which could take two to three months. Still, experts say the best line of defense is the current vaccine and booster. I'm very confident that the vaccines will provide some degree of protection. Still, not much is known about the new variant Omicron, but top health officials say the U.S. should be prepared to confront it. The South African doctor who discovered Omicron says cases in patients she's treated have so far been mild. Emwyn, ABC News, Washington.